Cokes is a Celt. Even Monty agrees. Alright guys, a new HMD update's hit. And well, you're about to go through everything with me. As you can see, I just logged in and I've been greeted with uh, the High Shore HS 126B1. Really? Oh look, a wrench. They want you to go to Mario. There's the 052L. And the Borkrev RZ. Huh. Oh look, another so, inch. Am I thinking if somebody has a duty with me that they don't have the balls to come to me about? No. Okay. Huh? Yeah. 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 And let's take a look at the plane, yeah. shall we? Um, oh, you have to still buy the plane. The plane is not given to you and it's 55 grand. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> 30 cal in the nanos, 30 cal in the bolt turret. Okay, 762 in the nose, 762 in the bull mount turret. Okay. And then last but not least, Savia. PV1 mounted 762 there. Okay, so they get the, uh, the Soviet record player as their uh, ball gun. So they get this thing, the, the, the Detriev DP-28, basically it's an aircraft version. Um, in the new patch, uh, we have issues of the PTRD getting a uh, sway increase and an accuracy decrease while standing and crouched. Um, I don't know about how much, and I won't know until later on today when I go live on Twitch where uh, we will be uh, testing out some of the new features and some of the new things. Um, one of the things I would like to do is uh, get back into the swing of things and probably pick each, pick a faction for each day. For example, today is going to be most likely either Germans or Soviets. I won't know until I go live and I'll ask you guys in chat uh, what you want to see. Do you want to see Soviets or if you want to see... Uh, Germans and I'll leave the Americans till last. The reason I want to leave the Americans till last is because, well, not a lot of people play the uh, American faction uh, that follow me on Twitter uh, and Twitch and whatnot. So, yeah, guys, uh, brief rundown pretty much. Uh, we could hit the patch notes. Uh, so. You have my Let's check out the change log real quick. Uh, added three planes. We've seen that. Added new explosive ammunition. Yeah, they've had it. They've added HE in those machine guns. No, just just no. Uh, plane hit points and collision models adjusted to make dogfights more fun. Planes are easier to shoot. Pilots harder. Okay, so basically they've got, they've decreased the pilot hitbox to probably the size of a gnat's dick and increased the hitbox of the plane to that the size of a horse's dick. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, switch the primary and secondary fire on the planes. So, but I have no idea what that means. That means I probably switch the buttons if they have. Yay! Or not. Who the hell cares? Uh, new sounds, sound behavior for all planes. I have no idea what that means. Uh, all fighter planes receive new bomb drop sounds. Yay! Uh, new flight and flight stress sounds of all planes. Okay. Just hit request call and they'll call you. Slight. Camera shake for when the plane reaches max velocity. Tweak aerial bomb explosion visually. Uh, now have a unique spawn delay time, which is fucking fantastic. Add that shit to the paratroopers, please. Um, updated the flight model of the 109. Everyone said that the 109's flight model was broken as fuck. Uh, added new collision meshes and to the Measure Schmidt 109. Uh, so it's more accurate now, really. Read to, read to. Like the Messerschmitt needed to be more accurate. Here we go. 
No, no, they're saying that it, that, that, that that it's more accurate to scale now. It, it wasn't to scale, is what they were saying. Nothing in that game is to scale. Um, PTRD adjustments added more sway when standing. Boo. Added more sway when crouched. Boo. Increased weapons in precision co or cone fire when sta while standing, and increased weapons in precision cone fire while when crouched. So you've given it more sway and made it less accurate. Okay. Vehicles no longer remain invisible. I don't care about that shit. Let, let's just get to what it is about the PTR thing. You've caved to all the little fucking five-year-old crybaby wannabes who have quite literally just sat there here in the Steam forums on Reddit and on the actual H&G forums and gone, wah, 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 please no PTRD. And you've quite literally just caved into them. You've literally just deleted in one update the sole reason to even play the Soviet faction. You do know that, right? Think about that for a brief fucking second, please, yeah. Dixon. You too, that smug, pug, ugly fuckface who does the, the, the balances to the weapons. Think about this for a second. You have single-handedly removed the only reason people play the Soviet faction is for the PTRD. They don't play it for the bajillion round magazines and an SMG that fires so slow tortoises are overtaking your bullets looking at you going and it takes like a bajillion bullets to hit and kill a fucking target even sent a mass when they're two feet fucking from you remember the old days of the grease gun well that's what it's like using the fucking using the, the, the level one and the level two SMGs don't even get me started on the chicken gun guys you know how I feel about the chicken gun but pretty much like I said you've deleted in this update the sole fucking reason to even play the Soviet faction G fucking G still got the gay fucking roll crap uh, fixed an issue where you could match make and join games without being able to actually play them that means nothing because you're still going to put us into a game where it's like 97% over. And I can barely make it maybe 10 feet from the fucking spawn before it's done. Okay. And hello. And the whole fucking one star, five star shit. No one knows what that does. That's why everyone just gives it GG one star. You know? Because you, it's clear you're not actually listening to the freaking feedback of the players. Leave the fucking PTRD alone. Stop caving to the fucking little Soviets crying in their vodka, okay? It's their own damn fault for driving the fucking jeep across the goddamn bridge in the first place and packing that thing worse than freaking a gay man packs fudge, okay? Just for a fucking PTRD to get a multi-fucking kill with one shot. Well, sorry, you're the morons who introduced the fucking plus 50% damage badge. What the fuck do you think players aren't going to do? Why don't you just nerf the badge? See, even Joker found that hilarious. Because he knows you're not going to do that. Like I said, and I know no one at fucking Reach is going to watch this shit. Because if they do, they'll just stand there getting ready to put the noose around their neck and kick the fucking chair out from under them. Because they're literally killing themselves in their own fucking game. Okay, ribbon, ribbons have been moved around. Move aircraft thief badge to ground ground support ribbon grades one, five, and nine. Why? No one ever steals a fucking airplane. And if they do, guess what? They can't rearm. So they're flying around in a plane with no bombs, no bullets, no nothing. GG. Uh move wrench to ground support ribbon grade two. Fucking finally. Move pilot pistol unlock to ground support ribbon six. Yeah. Don't even get me started on that shit. Move pilot SMG unlocks to ground support ribbon grade 10. The fuck? What? Moved tier 2 aircraft to dogfight ribbon grade 5. Alright. 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 Whoever fucking approved this shit, please do yourself a favor. Take this staple gun, okay? And staple your testicles, okay? To your office chair and jump off the roof of your building. 
looking at you, Splixen. No, it wasn't Splixen. Splixen's just the game director. Splixen doesn't have any fucking say until it goes live, and that's when he loads the goose steps in their office and says, <laughs> doing his best Hitler impersonation just to fucking get this shit to be rolled back. But like I said, um, yeah, just the fuck, man. This update is a big bag of dicks rolled into a bag of shit, covered in a hole. Hey, 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 hell no. But guess what? People don't give a fuck because they're just going to keep playing the goddamn game. And for fuck's sake, please give us an option. Just an option. You click on a little cog, you go to settings, and you just go to something like campaign or some other shit. And just be a little tick option. A little fucking tick option that says disable the fucking roll animation. Because that shit physically makes me want to puke. Okay? I don't give a fuck what smug ugly fucking smurf at Ritu thought it was a fucking grand idea to add into the game. It's not. Okay? Stop trying to add VR into your game. Okay? That's not how it works. Okay? Just stop. And for God's sake, stop playing games like Battlefield 1. Okay? Because God forbid, what's next? One of your developers starts playing Titanfall and we're going to start seeing fucking steam-powered mechs rolling across the battlefield. You see what I'm fucking saying? And if anything, the planes that you should have added for the Germans should have been the Stuka dive bomber. Period. The Stuka dive bomber. For the Americans, it should have been the DBT Dauntless, and for the fucking Soviets, it should have been the fucking, uh, I want to say the LA-5, maybe, maybe the IL-2 Sturmgewick. Those are the three planes that you should have added, not these biplane shit. Okay, think about it. it, it point out to me in what fucking theatre of campaign in World War II, did they have biplanes and Tiger IIs in the German army? None that I know of. Or, or Pershings and that fucking Kingfisher wannabe that you've given us. Or, or, or IS-2s and that fucking Spirit of St. Louis rip-off fucking thing look-alike. That'd be like if they brought in the Object 155. Uh, honestly, at this point, I'm expecting to see the mouths just roll across the battlefield and fart L tractors out of its barrel. I'm just expecting one of these days for them to bring in the, the flying uh, Russian tank. Don't. They might add that as a fucking premium only. Oh, see, and that's another fucking thing I'm surprised they haven't done yet. It is adding premium only stuff. The cash shop, which they said during one of their dev streams that they were going to update the bundles every month. Yeah? hasn't had a bundle update in since they fucking implemented it when they added the freaking Gewehr and, and, and the SMG okay not one not a single update they added a weekend warrior thing maybe about four patches ago yeah and that's it if I have a weekend off from work I'm not gonna sit my happy little ass down and play this when there's games like Battlefield, Titanfall 2, in freaking, uh, 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 Christ knows how many fucking Hell, triple God, Battlefront, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, yeah. God forbid, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Yeah. Fuck, Call of Duty Ghosts. Hell, and here's the kicker. There's more people playing Farm Simulator 2015 than there is Infinite Warfare or H&G at any given freaking time. And that's my whole point, okay? Stop reneging on your promises. You said, oh yeah, we're going to add new bundles. You haven't added a fucking bundle in months, man. And I don't want ribbons. Alright? Trust me. I've got so many fucking boosters on my soldiers that are never going to get fucking used. Because I'm either already maxed out on that ribbon, or I just don't use that ribbon. Yep. I've got boosters on shit that I'll never use. Because I'm not planning on going hey, pilot. I Close combat, explosives. How can I ma how can I use a booster on my explosives when they're maxed, maxed out? out? How? I, I, why would I want to use boosters on my chauffeur? I don't want to haul anyone around with me. 
Nine times out of ten, I'm on, I've got my PTRD and I'm hunting either planes or tanks. I don't want the responsibility of some numb nut who fucking climbs in the goddamn back of my goddamn jeep and going, one the machine gun, so you can't stand there and go, eh, 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 like a spastic. That's why no machine gun. Stalin even had it right. He's like, fuck it, we saved the machine guns and we stopped the spastics from going, eh, eh, eh. The Americans, on the other hand, Patton's like, no, fuck it, give them the machine guns, let them dacker away. You know what I mean? Like a bunch of fucking idiots. Here you go, here's another one. Why would I want a booster from Machine Pistol 34? Right, which I got from my, from, from my German, right? Right. When, quite literally, every single one of my Germans, bar my tanker and my paratrooper, okay, have that ribbon maxed out already. See? That makes a whole lot of sense. My tactical maxed out. Yeah, it's like with me. I've got boosters for freaking. My, my chauffeur is it, 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 is is it maxed out? I think it's yeah, maxed out. Again, another booster I'm never gonna use. Machine pistol 34 maxed out. Never gonna use. Um, okay, why would I use the, the common selects? Do you see, I, I, it, they're not thinking. They're just not fucking thinking. That booster is probably for a player who's already got the shit unlocked. Yep. Okay, which makes sense because they're going to want to buy the common selects and, and power level their common selects. Right? That makes fucking sense. But it doesn't for a player who's just started the game and is looking for the best available money stuff for his money. So he's going to go to the bundles and he's going to say, oh wait, look, for 920 gold, which is barely like 5, 10 bucks, right? Right. I can get me a knife, grenade, some some boosters, and a machine pistol 34, yeah, with a unique uh, uh, bolt and 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 bullet combo, you know. So he's gonna think, fuck, that's a great deal. I don't have to level up my goddamn infant my infantry assault because I'll have it already. So he buys it, realizes, wait a minute, half these fucking boosters I can't even use because they're for vehicles and shit. I don't fucking have. Pretty much. So that common selects booster will now just sit there gathering fucking dust because someone in their infinite fucking stupidity over at Ritu didn't fucking think this through. They rushed it. Like always. Because it's all about the update, the update, the update, the update, the update, the update. Stop. Okay. Sometimes you have to do aftercare updates that literally patch hot like like for Cotton found a fucking glitch in the map, in a map, yeah. where if you hit it, you'll sink into the ground and then get catapulted to the other side of the map. What the? Yeah, he did a video on it. Flying tanks. It was in his in a Panzer II. Yeah, I remember that one. That was right after the 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 new update. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the update before that. Let's 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 hold C. Let's just go underneath the map. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can't kill me. Yep. Like I said, no quality. Fucking insurance. And they still haven't fixed the freaking um, texture glitches, where you don't see the complete bottom plate of, of a freaking Panzer, or you walk into the bar the barracks on the airfield, mm -hmm. and the whole damn roof's missing. Yeah, and you're looking at stars, and you're like, "Wow, man, heavy." So yeah, all in all, what do I think of this new update? I won't know until I start streaming, but initial impressions is. <laughs> Great big diuretic curry chili infused shit pile. There you go, guys. I will see you live today over at twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. Where sadly I will be playing in said shit pile curry thing. Anyway, ciao, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one.